There are two reasons to invert a fraction. One of them is something we learn in elementary school when we learned how to divide fractions. As a review, one third divided by one quarter equals one third times four over one. We turn the second fraction upside down, we invert it, and we change the division symbol to a multiplication symbol. And then we're able to give our answer, which is four thirds. That is one reason to invert a fraction. Now, when we work with exponential expressions, we will do the same thing. x cubed over y divided by y squared over x squared is the same as x cubed over y times x squared over y squared, which gives us x to the power of 5 over y to the power of 3. We have inverted the second fraction because we are dividing fractions. We invert the second fraction and then we multiply it instead. One way that we can recognize that this is the reason we are turning the fraction upside down is that the division sign turns into a multiplication sign. But there is a second reason why we can invert a fraction. e to the negative 3 over m to the negative 4 is the same as m to the positive 4 over e to the positive 3. The way that I can recognize that this is the reason I am inverting the fraction is because the signs of the exponents change. Let's look at a question that makes us invert a fraction for both reasons. We have to invert a fraction twice. The first thing I'm going to do when I simplify this expression is I'm going to get rid of those negative signs in my exponents. I'm going to invert the second fraction so that I can convert the negative 2 and the negative 3 into positives. That means that my division sign is still going to be a division sign. I am not dividing fractions yet. The c to the negative 3 ends up on the top, and the a to the negative 2 ends up on the bottom. The negative 3 and the negative 2 have turned into positive 3 and positive 2. And in doing so, I had to invert this fraction. But now, I still have to simplify further. I'm dividing these two fractions. When I divide fractions, I multiply instead, and I turn the second fraction upside down. I can tell that this is what I'm doing because my division sign turned into a multiplication sign, and the signs of my exponents did not change. a squared times a squared is equal to a to the 4. c cubed times c cubed is equal to c to the 6. I have my final answer. It's important not to mix up these two reasons to invert a fraction and to be able to do either of them in the appropriate situations.